Hello friends, we have a, another um, one of Crystal's hauls and deals. A lot of fun stuff came through this past couple of days, so I am here to share what I have hauled, and let's get right into it. Starting with Hobby Lobby, I ended up getting these on clearance, and I just really liked them. I like them for spring, $1.99, and I actually picked up the last two, so... I picked up duplicates because I'm going to put this one in the middle. Now, this one was $1.59. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. All right, this one was $1.59, and I think I want to put this in my foyer. I'm not sure yet, but I really like it. And I'm going to put these either above and below it or on either side of it. And these were each $1.99. Um, again, this was like 90% off. So originally these were $19.99 and of course they go down to like 40%. And this bigger picture was $15.99. So this is their, um, let me see, what are they calling this? Home decor, Lakota chic collection, shabby chic. So Anyways, that is what I picked up from Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. Really happy with my finds. I think I did pretty well um, for $6 for this set. So not bad. Now, yesterday I did go to Burlington Coat Factory, and I did end up getting these. I thought they were really cute. Um, I do put these out by my sink in the master bedroom because just to, like, kind of clean up the water and so forth. I want something cute, but yet something functional. These are only $4.99, five pieces, so I figured that out. It's basically $0.99 cents for each one, so I was like, okay, that is a deal, and I do like the colors. I like how the pink and the gray go together, and I thought this was nice nice little touch. $4.99, super cute, why not? And then I bought, let me get it out. I bought this on clearance in a size small, and it has an area where you can tuck in your, um, your hands, and it has a pool string. It's supposed to be raining the next couple days, and you all know how much I wear black. Um, I found this on clearance in the junior section, and... Yeah, $7.99. It was $24.99. I don't know how much they were trying to sell it for before, but it's just a black um, sports active jacket, and I find these to be really comfortable, and this seemed like it would be really nice. I mean, it's just lined, so I'll probably wear, I don't know, either wear a sports bra underneath it or a um, maybe a tank top. I don't know. I just want. I just thought it was a good deal, and I definitely needed another pullover for um, winter time because you all know I wear like yoga pants. Honestly, my uniform is yoga pants and UGGs, and um, yeah, so not bad for seven dollars. And again, um, I think Burlington has a lot of great deals. Yesterday, I don't think I'm gonna be going to that Burlington again. There's another Burlington around me, and I think I'm gonna be hitting that one because that one's a little bit small, and I just was not that thrilled about the selection. But I will say one thing: the flip flops, amazing prices, amazing, amazing prices. Um, so if you have not watched our Burlington walkthrough, oh excuse me, if you've not watched our Burlington walkthrough, I definitely recommend you um, um watch it. Lots of great deals. And Ross, I actually got this for 99 cents. This is by Trina. I don't know what that is. I don't know who she is or what that is. Trina Turk. And it says originally $28. I don't know how this would be $28, but okay. Anyways, so it was on clearance. And I'm. you can see this in the video. Um, all right, the price tag was in here. I don't know if they took it. I don't think they would take it, but that's weird. I got it for 99 cents. And like I said, go ahead and watch the video. It's uh, the price tag was tucked in here and it was for 99 cents. I love the hot pink lining and I like the black. I thought this would be cute. Um, this is something I don't care if it gets wet. So this is something that I can take to the pool in my pool bag. And you know, for 99 cents, um, you know, why not? Right. And also, this is kind of stuff I like to keep around for really quick gifts. I mean, if I don't use it by the time summer comes, then I'll just use it for myself. But I was like, seriously, for 99 cents? I mean, at Ross, I'll take it. Then, uh, 
I did get these yoga leggings and because they had a mark right here, I asked if they could take on the front band, I asked if they could give me a discount. So they took off 10% and it ended up being like a dollar sixty nine or something. These were twelve ninety nine. Um I did get a size large in yoga pants and they're just I don't I think I've worn these before. Adrian Vidadani Vidadini. Um and yeah, they're just plain black yoga pants. So anyways, obviously like that will go together with my new hoodie. So I'll probably wear that today. Um, anyways, and that's what I picked up at Ross. I also picked up something else at Ross. Hold on. I picked up this home pillow and I know exactly where I'm going to be putting it. Um, it's an indoor outdoor pillow, which is why it was cheaper than normal because of the material and it was only $8.99. And the reason why I like indoor outdoor pillows is because A, they are cheaper. Um, B, I can wash them a lot easier and like, <laughs> and like I've been telling you, you know, between like Fancy and my husband, just it's hard, you know, they're on the couch and they use it a lot, you know, uh, Fancy's no little petite petunia, um, She's a big dog. She has big paws. She jumps on there. And, um, yeah, you know, before Ollie didn't used to go on our bed or on the couch because he had a little bum leg and then he got to be elderly and, you know, that changes everything anyways. But, um, Fancy is very young and she's very playful and jumping up on our bed and jumping up on the sofa is like second nature. So, um, that has kind of changed my thoughts on how I'm going to be decorating. So this will take wear and tear just fine. Um, but this isn't going on the couch. So hopefully I don't have to worry about washing this. Anyways, again, that's why I'm kind of going for indoor outdoor pillows. As a matter of fact, I want to go to Walmart, check out their indoor outdoor pillows because they have really cute ones and you really can't tell the difference until you actually feel the fabric. You know, you can tell like it's waterproof and so forth. So I thought this was really cute. Not bad for $8.99. If you guys watched our TJ Maxx and our Ross and our Marshalls walkthrough, I do want to go to Home Goods. Um, you'll see that I'm on the hunt for pillows for my den couch. All right. Um, and let me go into some Dollar Tree right now. All right. I went a little crazy. I always go crazy at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is just, it's so hard not to go crazy. All right. I did get this wreath hanger. I know I have one. I'm just being lazy and not wanting to look for it. But I bought it in pink. I'm sure I, this will get me through summer. Pink's a great color. I also ended up... I don't even know. I might have duped these. I might already have these. But I ended up buying some of their um, their decor, egg decor ornaments. I might put these in the back of those red trucks that I have. Um, Scentsy warmers. Not sure, or I might decorate my tree, my white tree with these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I did buy three packs, so I'm set. And I went crazy on the flowers. Yeah, I did. Look at that. I spent like $32, and most of it is on these floral picks. I just thought they were too cute. I mean, you don't get a whole lot of flower for a dollar, but loving the yellow and you all know like yellow is my jam for spring and easter and then these pink ones were calling my name and let's see i literally i think i bought close to almost every single one of this style i fell in love i was like oh my gosh pink and glittery sign me up and then it has the yellow and glitter the lavender and glitter and then I found this grass. And now this stuff is going to go quick. Um, I mean, honestly, it's already going quick at Dollar Tree. With What comes out on Easter is, gee, especially like all the crafting. And I bought this grass. I picked it up in lavender. I, see, I want to get more of the teal. Let me show you what one pick looks like. It's pretty, it's a pretty decent sized pick. So you do get a lot. I don't know why I didn't get more teal. I think I picked up two more in teal, and I picked up lavender, pink, and I did pick up some regular green. And then you can see all of that. Yeah, so just this one bag of stuff. I mean, I did get the wreath hanger, and I did get the eggs, but, but I mean, the bulk of my money was spent on the floral picks. And I, yeah, I dropped $32 there. I was like, eesh. 
because crystal's cheap, you know, and $32, I was like, gosh, do I win a prize or something? Um, but, so, I need to start, okay, number one, I'm running into, <laughs> do you guys ever put stuff away, you don't remember where it's at? All right, last year, from the store at home, which I don't understand why that video does not do well, because it's a great video, um, I lucked out, and I picked up a whole bunch of flowers for, like, pennies on the dollar, right? Well, they're sunflowers, they're amazing, and I picked up a ton of them. I can't find them. I cannot find these flowers. So I've not, I've been resisting buying any floral picks from the Dollar Tree, including Valentine's Day. And right now, I don't have any faux flowers in my house. I mean, except for like that, except for stuff that's already here, because I cannot find the main bulk of them. So this weekend, I am dedicating, oops, I'm dedicating my time to finding my huge flower bouquets because you know, this is just kind of fillers. Like, this is what I'm going to put in there to make it look Eastery, springy. And then this will come out when summer comes. Like, this can stay. That can stay. But, like, all this sparkly stuff, that stuff will come out. I don't know. I might leave this for summer. I really do like these. Um, but anyways, I put stuff away and I hide it from myself. And then I can't even freaking find it. So, anyways, I really like this. This is all... Oops. One of my little things came out. But, um... Really cute, really fun, and I will probably pick up more if I see more, um, because I definitely want more of this sparkly grass, so, yeah. Alright, backing up to the bag, here it is, it's 99 cents, cosmetic bags, so that's the bag for 99 cents. It was stuffed inside there, and I was like, seriously, 99 cents? I was like, I'll take it. Alright, moving on to the next items. My husband and I went to Walmart yesterday um, to pick up some stuff, and I saw this on clearance. It is semi-fitted, a medium, 8 to 10. It was eleven forty-four. It's time and true. I picked it up for $7 on clearance. It's just a black knit, and I like the puffed sleeves. I'm totally going for that style. And then I picked up another really great find as well. I have been wanting this little sequin top since I saw it, but I would, I'm would. i too cheap to pay $11.96, um, so I will pay $2. Now, I did get a size large, and my husband's like, that's too big, but I know how I want to wear this. I want to wear this like with fitted black slacks and black open-toed heels, so I thought... Um, this is when being small chested kind of comes in handy. <laughs> um, I don't have to wear a bra with this. And so I didn't want a tight fit. I wanted it to be like nice and loose. And I don't know, maybe I'll wear this for Valentine's Day because we're going out to dinner. I mean, it will look, I don't know. I don't know, sequin might be too much for that. I don't know what I'm going to wear for Valentine's Day dinner. I mean, it for sure it's going to be something black. That I can guarantee you. Um, but anyways, yeah, so... You know, fitted black slacks will look, well, not slacks, but like fitted black pants will look really good with this. And like I said, with some slingback open toe high heels. Yep. So for $2, yeah, I will take it. And actually, I'm working on a Walmart video, so I will show you all. And then I ended up liking these keto fat cups, caramel, naturally flavored. I don't know how many cups you get. Oh, you get 14. So you get a lot of cups for your money. Um, one net carb per serving and they are 90 calories and yeah, I mean, I like them. So if you're watching your carbs, you know, definitely recommend these. Like I said, I don't do like keto keto because I cannot give up fruit. Fruit is just, that's, a, <laughs> that's non-negotiable for Crystal. So anyways, all right. Um, let me show you what else we found at Walmart and I don't know why we have the hardest time at Walmart finding freaking cleaners, but we do. And, um, again, I'm doing a Walmart video, so hopefully I can run into a Walmart that actually has a lot of cleaners left. Um, Lysol, they, they still have a limit on. I guess people are going crazy for Lysol. I don't, I didn't even know that that was like, you know, like people were going back to, you know, buying in bulk, but, um, I guess they are, so... Anyways, let me show you what we were able to score. And there, no, 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 not in there, Miss Fancy. Not in there. And there is Miss Fancy. I need to clean her eye buggers, but yeah, there's Miss Fancy. All right, cleaning eye buggers, the highlight of Crystal's life. Not, but say hi. See, you look much better, huh, Mommy? Don't you? You look much better. Oh, I got to get a little bit more. All right. 
Back to the haul. Yeah, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every time I do a haul, Fancy likes to jump in front of the camera, so she likes to make an appearance. All right, so I was grateful for what I was able to get, and this is the scrub-free total bathroom cleaner. I think it's like only like a dollar something. Um, I picked it up in Lemon Scent Oxy Clean, and then I wanted to try this Comet Foam Bath Cleanser, removes grime, soap, and scum. And then I needed all purpose. Um, I bleach down my counters every single morning. That is like my routine. After I'm done drinking my coffee, I wash my coffee cup and then the counters are bleached every single day. <laughs> um, my husband thinks that it's very strange that I do that. Um, I call it just being clean. But I mean, I did that way before this whole COVID thing started. That's just part of Crystal's routine is bleaching down her her kitchen counters. So um I honestly never really run out of cleaners. Um, I just don't like, you know, like when I'm on the last full one, I like to kind of get a couple more. So, um, what's wrong? Hold on. And then I also picked up a K-Cup cleaning and descaling kit. Extends your machine's life. So, it's just a single use, two simple steps. Anyways, I think it was... Um, like for something. And also I needed shampoo. You know what? I, it's been so long since I've bought shampoo. Usually I used to get my shampoo like at Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. But the 99 cent store is gone wild with their pricing. Um, I think this was like $4. And this is the Aussie Miracle Volume Shampoo. Um, for some reason I go through shampoo. Well, I tend to buy a lot more conditioner than shampoo. So I'm hoping this will last. This is uh, 26.2 fluid ounces and it's the pump. So I thought I would give that a try. And then I needed some shaving cream. And like I said, I used to get it at Dollar Tree and so forth, but honestly it equates not that expensive. So I picked it up in the raspberry and I got that. Picked up two of those. Oh, fancy. Um, all right. And then also the, um, the razor blades. It's three equate compared to Venus. I like them. I get them every month. And for some reason, my husband makes fun of me. <laughs> I really like this Axe um, two-sided shower tool. It makes your skin smoother. I don't know why. So I change out my loofah like once a month and I get this. All right. I think that is – we really did not get a lot from Walmart. Um there really just was not a lot to get, honestly. And, um, yeah, so that's what I picked up. And then I'm going to get into the 99 cent store right now. So let me clear the table. Okay, I really like these. And they're already sold out. So I must not be the only one. This actually I saw at Target for like $19.99. I was like, yeah, right. Something very similar. $3.99. $3.99. And then I picked up her friend with the eyelashes. Ugh, let me pull her out. And she's too cute, too. And she was $3.99. So I picked them up. Had to have them. thought they were too cute. They're going to go in the den. And I thought, really fun. And like I said, um, I did a Target walkthrough, like, I don't know, about two weeks ago. And this, like, was $19.99. I couldn't believe it. And it, this was there was actually only one left. So people actually bought this for $19.99. And I was like, pfft. Uh, that's crazy. So the, the 99 cent store did bring these out pretty late considering when they brought out all the rest of their Valentine's Day stuff. But hey, I got my hands on them and I hauled them. So definitely am happy with my find. Another really good find were these two pack of towels, 100% cotton. And look at how cute these are. And these are not like chintzy at all, at all. And what I'm like 99 cents and I got a pack of two and what I really like is that these are pretty much like Easter colors I really don't know why they didn't package it with the stripe in front um because these are really really cute for 99 cents and the quality is pretty much what I would expect from a pack of towels at Marshalls, Home Goods, Ross. I don't know why they're 99 cents. I really don't care. The fact is I scored on them and they are definitely, I'm going to put them away for Easter because I'm going to use these either in my, um, I'm, I'm going to use these in my kitchen. You know, they're very Easter colors. You have the yellow, the, the green, you have the blue, very Easter. And yeah, 99 cents. So definitely got on that. Um, 
Let me get my other finds out. I also picked up the Zero Sugar Kool-Aid Jammers for 99 cents. Yeah, 99 cents. So that was a find. 10 pouches. Excellent source of vitamin C. This is something I can drink and just not really like worry about um, worry about calories. So grabbed two of these. And then I picked up the Enjoy Life Handcrafted Soft Baked Cookies Chocolate Chip made with all natural ingredients for $1.49. Um, I think you get, let me see how many serving six pouches so that'll be like for my husband and there is more that i did pick up at the 99 cent store so hold on and then i did pick these up two for 99 cents yep two the unsweetened um pure leaf green tea zero calories and i'm wondering when these expire i don't know i'm not gonna i don't know i mean if you guys remember me from <laughs> from when I hauled from the 99 like those big massive hauls tea and coffee I don't you know fret about exp expiration dates I'm not afraid you know I'm gonna keel over um yeah I don't know but I'm okay with that anyways two for 99 cents and that is what I found at the 99 cent store I think I did pretty good I'm really really limiting on what I buy at the 99 cent store I mean if it's a good deal I'm gonna haul it like I said I hauled these pillows because I did see them at Target priced at you know 19.99 and I was like all right this is as close as I'm gonna come to getting a 19.99 pillow from Target so took those two and yeah I'm pretty happy with what I hauled I think this is everything um like I said, I hold on to a lot of stuff until I have a big enough haul to show you. And that is going to be our haul for this week. Um, if I haul anything today, I'll tag it on to the end of this video. But that's about it. All right, my friends. I hope you all enjoyed our video. As always, have a great day or a great evening. And there's a lot of content on the channel. Also, when you do hit that like button or you do leave a comment, it does help spread our videos around by the YouTube um, <laughs> algorithms. So the more thumbs up we get, um, you know, the more we can share our channel and the more friends we can make and share our awesome finds with. And I also would like to thank all of you that did decide to join our circle of friends here on our channel. Um, the past 28 days, we have made 1100 new friends. So welcome and thank you so much. And I hope you're all enjoying the content. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. And I also hauled this from Hobby Lobby and it was 20, I think it was $29.99 or $24.99, $24.99. And I used my 40% coupon off. Yes, I am quite aware that the 40% coupon off is, um, they are going to be, um, doing away with that, but they said that they're going to implement better pricing all around. So we'll see what happens. Um, I love this farm, Fresh Eggs, 25 cent cottontail farm established 1925. I love the sign against the shiplap. I already have the carrot one from last year, and I thought this one was just too cute. So I had to have it. Yeah, loved it, fell in love with it. And then I also picked up one more item at um, Hobby Lobby. This throw rug was 50% off, so I received 50% off $14.99. It is made for the outside, but I'm actually going to be using it for my inside, and I do it all the time, and honestly, you can't tell a difference, so I'm not going to even stress out over it. Um, it should wear and tear pretty well. I kind of am sticking like with gray and white right now. Hopefully, maybe later on, I can transition into some lighter colors, but that was a good deal. I think I spent like, I want to say... This came out to like, I don't know, about $8 plus tax. This came out to like, I don't know, about 15 or something. So I spent like about under, I think like $21 for both items. And then at Marshall's, I got this really good deal. This is just, um, I think this is a size, what size is this? Um, I'm not sure what size this is. It's a medium. Okay. And it's just a leopard long sleeve kind of like crop top. And I thought it was pretty cute. And since I wear black all the time, I thought I could wear this like with my black yoga pants. I do like the material. Again, it's long sleeved and I bought it off the clearance rack for $3. So it looks like they had put it down on clearance for the third time. And this is by Anastar. Again, I don't know who that is, but 
this is definitely my style. You all know how much I like leopard. So that's all I bought at Marshall's. I was really good. But I am going to be going back and getting some Easter decor. Um, I really thought their prices were amazing. And I also want to go back to Ross and finish off their Easter. Because Ross is just starting to put out their Easter stuff. But Ross has amazing prices as well. So, yeah, um, I don't think this is that short. Hopefully not, because I don't want to have to wear a tank top underneath it. But this will look cute, like with jeans, black yoga pants. Yeah, I'm not too sure how long this is. It is just kind of like cropped at the bottom. But for $3, yeah, well, I mean, why not? We still have quite... You know, we still got to get through February and March, and it's still going to be long sleeve weather. So that is what I picked up, and definitely happy that I grabbed this because my 40% coupon expires expired yesterday. 30th, um, January 30th was the last day I could use it, so I wanted to make sure that I was able to grab one of these because this is new. I don't think they had these last year, or maybe they did, and I just picked out the carrot patch one. But anyways, so yeah. All right, my friends, um, I do have more to add to this haul. And guess what? I got all of this. Each Everything you're looking at was 99 cents. So let's go through it real quick. Orange mango Tropicana, 50% less sugar and calories, 1% juice blends, no artificial sweeteners, 50 calories. I already hauled like three of these, I think, except I think it was the orange juice. So I just picked up one of the orange mango. Again, 99 cents. Could not pass it up. February 11th, 2021's expiration date. Then my husband and I both like these Minute Made Zero Sugar Fruit Punch and five calories per serving. I really don't stress out about the expiration date on this. Again, this was 99 cents. The Grape Punch expiration date is February 19th, 2021. The Pineapple Juice, this was an amazing find. Um, Dole Pineapple Juice expiration date is March 8th, 2021. And again, all... Um, 99 cents. I got myself one of these Cracker Barrel pairing boards, Jalapeno Cheddar, and I'm probably going to give Fancy maybe some of the crackers, and I'll get, or I'm going to eat the, the cheese and the salami. That just looked really good at the time. So that's what I picked up at the 99, and I went to the 99 late today. Um, I went like around 2 o'clock, and it's funny because my husband and I were like, gosh, you know, I should get some juice, right? Those are words that have rarely been said in this house for the past four years. But we were out of juice. And then I didn't see all this juice. It was all, if, you, if you're a friend on Instagram, you'll see the picture. It was all together. It was all in a row. And I was like, how did I, am I blind? Like, how did I miss all of it? But yeah. And so really glad to see that they're bringing the prices back down. And they're finally starting to get some of their cool deals. Because it has been a hot minute since we've seen any of this. I mean, it has been a long time since they have put this stuff out. So anyways, all right. I hit the mother load at Dollar Tree and wait till you all see. I did pick up two of the eco tools, the um, facial sponges, bamboo charcoal. I put these in my shower and I use them. I love them. And I also picked up the Hard Candy Primer Mist. Yes, I did. Coconut water infused. 12-hour radiance. This is amazing. Electrolytes, energize, plus hydrate skin. Oil-free, 2.2 fluid ounces. I don't even know how many I bought. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I bought six of those. And then I spoke to the manager. There's this one manager who is super cool at one of the Dollar Trees that I go to. And um, he knows like he's he's he knows a lot about makeup, so I like that. And he brought out the box and they only sent him, I guess, like two of these. And um, so I took them because I was like, yes, because I actually need uh, needed more um, blush. And I love the sparkles. I don't know if you all can see it. There you go. But this is Wet n Wild Color Icon Fantastic Plastic Pink. And yeah, blush. So I'm like, yes. So I grabbed those two. Then, and it's funny because I was running out of this green primer. And Hard Candy, I actually bought Hard Candy Pore Refining. And that was like $7.99. 
and I think this was $7.99 as well. Well, this is Sheer Envy Color Correcting Primer Corrects Intense Redness. And I have like redness around my nose because of my allergies. So I bought one, two, let's see, three, four. But I did not clear the shelf either. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing deals. Be sure to watch our because I didn't even I didn't even buy everything that was hard candy and there's Maybelline mascara. Make sure to watch our walkthrough. You, you guys are gonna like it. All right, and there's more. All right, real quick, I just got these for Fancy because um, we give her a treat when she goes into her crate and she seems to like this. The last one was for her fur. This is for hip and joints and it's um, Healthy Max and it is manufactured in Minnesota. So. Anyways, so she seems to like this. Number one ingredient is chicken, and yeah, she likes it. So we just give her these as a kind of a little treat for going in the crate and being a good girl. All right, um, I found this, and this was in light. It's very rare that they have the color light, and um, it says highlight, create light, enhance features. So this is for contouring, and I use this type of stick every single day. So to be able to score hard candy and in my color, yes. So I picked up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I did not clear the shelf, okay? Seven, eight, nine. Oh, you know what? It's double-sided. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. I should, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. All right, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, and then I did get the fiberized brow gel. Not so much for the gel. Well, just, yeah, a little bit to work with my... Yeah, I mean a little bit, but more more for the end stick because I just wanted to try the brow highlighter, but I decided only to get one because I bought so many of these. And if I really want to use a brow highlighter, I can use the light part of that one, but that's out there as well by Hard Candy. And then they had a ton of wet and wild stuff, but the only one I wanted to try was this liquid cat suit, which I hope I like because so far I have not liked any of their lip glosses. They're way too matte, and the color is so strong, it just takes forever. But this says that it's metallic lipstick. So I'm hoping it's not like their other ones. The other ones have just been horrible. Like, I don't like them at all. But anyways, all right, I'm going to add this whole haul on to the haul that I filmed yesterday. And I hope you guys go out there and find <laughs> all of this amazing stuff. I, don't even, I mean, I was like, when I saw the, this... Just watch the walkthrough. There's a lot. Besides the makeup, there's a lot of other really hot finds as well. All right. I'm going to go load this up for you guys. Thank you so very much as always. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you.